What's up, y'all? Welcome back to a brand new live vlog of Mo TV. Independent thinking for the free mind. Ooh, I'm outside. It's cold. I'm freezing my ass off. But I can't be on lockdown 24-7 just because we're in a quarantine. I still need my fresh air. I still need my vitamin D. I still need the sun to greet me. I still need to feel alive. You know, even if we can't go nowhere, I still need to feel like, God damn, I'm not literally on lockdown indoors. So I'm just saying to y'all, don't forget to go outside and get your fresh air because, I mean, it will do you wonders. Even if you can't go to the block party up the street, even if you can't go to the mall, if you could get some fresh air, you could breathe, that's going to make all the difference, guys. Do not deprive yourselves of that, especially with everything that's going on. The last thing you need to lose is your sanity, your peace of mind. But aside from the obvious quarantine we're all still under, I wanted to talk about a different topic today. <laughs> and I wanted to start off by asking... What is your talent? Everybody, I truly believe everybody has specified talents, you know? A lot of people can sing, a lot of people can act, a lot of people can make stuff or break stuff and make it something better than what it was. Demolition or reconstruction. Whew. A lot of people are really book smart, you know? You could ask them anything or they could be on Jeopardy and win every time. But then, there are also people who sadly mistake talking shit as a talent. Like, oh, gee, I don't know this person or that group of people or that country or anything, but because I haven't been there and they can't hear me and I'm not saying it to their face, I'm saying it to their back like a pussy, oh, I can talk any kind of shit I want, that makes me tough. Like, talking shit is some kind of talent. This dumb bitch the other day I heard called me ugly. It's like, um, you must be ugly because you didn't even show your face. Matter of fact, is your face even online? I'm fucking gorgeous. Just because I'm not a model or on a cover doesn't change that factor. I'm not pretty for show. I'm pretty for me. I'm pretty permanently. <laughs> Until I do something to fuck me up, which I wouldn't intentionally do, so it would have to be an accident where somebody set me up. But anyways, just to go and show you as proof, people talk shit constantly. People are haters constantly. It's like at the same time, people will log on and talk shit about certain people's YouTube channels or certain people's information on, on, online. These are the same people that won't even put their ideas out online, won't broadcast their face or their voice. So it's like, if everyone else is so ugly and so stupid, where's your beautiful intelligence? Where? Nowhere to be found? Hmm. So you're talking shit like a pussy in the dark. Haha, <laughs> I can run and hide. They won't find me. <laughs> like, I just want to say real quick, guys. Talking shit is not a talent. Talking shit is literally the sport of bitches. Bitch-ass pussies. Like, seriously. If you have an opinion about something, you can't just feel some type of way for no reason. That's just like if you were angry and didn't know why. Or if you were happy and didn't know why, you know? If you're going to feel some type of way or judge somebody, first of all, you shouldn't judge anybody because nobody's God, nobody made anybody. But if I F you do, you should have a reason or reasons. It shouldn't just be because I said so, because I want to, <laughs> because it's funny. That's so stupid. Like, literally, if you ever pay attention to who talks the most shit in your group or in your corner or just wherever you are and you hear someone talking shit, that's always the same person that will crumble, run, and hide if anybody says anything about them. And they're also the same people that won't say it to that person's face. Come closer. I'm right here. I'm right here. Say what you gotta say. Come find me. Bitches. <laughs> uh, I just saw one of my neighbors. Shit is funny. <laughs> but listen, y'all. There's a difference between talking shit and telling the truth. Telling the truth means it's a fact. It can be proven. Everyone would agree on it. That's what makes it a fact. It's indisputable. The truth. Talking shit is just somebody butt hurting their feelings or just ignorant as fuck and making shit up or just trying to sound interesting to get attention for the second. Like, seriously, you got to know the difference. Facts are real. Talking shit 
is butt hurt bullshit. So I want you guys to look in the mirror as well as looking inside your circle and ask yourself, what is your true talent? And also ask yourself, who do I know that actually thinks talking shit is a talent? Because you ever know those people, they could go off on a tangent, being mad and upset and talking shit and just being pure and negative about a certain person or a specific group or a specific topic, whatever. And they never have reasons. They're never willing to talk about it. They're never willing to explain. They won't even listen to somebody else saying something different because it's like, uh-uh, you disagreed with me? Uh-uh, we're at war now. We're enemies now. It's like, yes, I guess we would be at war because I'm an intelligent person who goes off of facts, whereas you're a dumbass that pulls shit out of your ass and calls it real. <laughs> so, guys... Especially in tough times like this, you have to know who you're dealing with. You have to know what kind of people are around you. And it doesn't matter if we were in a pandemic, a quarantine, or if it was just a regular day in America on Main Street. You cannot expect to have a good life or have a positive state of mind when you are surrounded by negativity and hateful people. You can't. I'm talking, even if somebody's talking about their ex to their next lover or whoever... You never met their ex. You never fucked their ex. How do you know they're telling you the truth? If you haven't noticed, when somebody starts fucking you, they tell you what you want to hear. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That's kind of like when someone just becomes your friend. They don't want to disagree with you. They, they don't want to cause an issue. They want you to like them. They want you to believe them. They want you to listen because you agree with what they say. And they agree with what you say. I can always trust somebody who's willing to disagree with me faster than someone who's willing to agree with me. You know why? Because I can admit when I'm wrong. And if somebody else is smart enough to realize when I'm wrong and they're not afraid to challenge me on that, I'm going to listen and talk it out. We don't have to argue. We don't have to disrespect each other. We don't have to talk shit. We can just have a conversation like adults. So if you know people, you can't do that with people, these are the people you need to cut out of your life. And if you've never had time before, this is the perfect time when you got all the time in the world to realize who you are associating with. Who's a shit talker, and who's a real walker, you know? This is Mo on Mo TV. I'm gonna go back inside of cold as fuck. But please, listen to what I'm saying. I, I know, I know what I'm talking about. I've had to cut a lot of people out of my life because I had to realize they were negative, they were making me negative, and my life just got worse being around them. People will convince you that you will be nothing without them, but trust me, remember how your life was before them. And keep in mind, you have a future. As long as you don't screw up your present with them, you have a future. There's nobody in this world you can't live without but yourself. Alright? Love and peace. God bless. Stay safe. See y'all next time. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Bump on TV. Independent